Hello friends, I hope everyone is doing well. Well, I had an interesting day today because uh, I turned on the phone and it just went to this factory uh, reset and I thought I lost everything. I thought I lost my all my pictures, my videos and everything else that go along <laughs> that goes along with it. But anyway, uh, it took me like about an hour and a half to fix everything. But I didn't get it all quite fixed because, you know, when these things happen, you don't get everything back if you don't have it backed up. So I didn't have a couple of things backed up. So I lost those things. But what can you do? I decided to have um, go for a little drive. From It went from basically almost like Somerville to Boston and uh, went to Chinatown and Charlestown. So it was nice, you know. Just, I haven't been around this area for a little bit. So I decided just to go because you'll see how nice it is coming up. You're going to see different places that I haven't gone in a while. And I don't think I've ever shown you guys. But it's, it's very nice. So I know, like, I had this friend, right, that she lost her phone. And uh, she just didn't recover ever, so she couldn't do anything. She, when she Once she got her new phone, she had to start over. So sometimes that happens, you can lose a phone or something can happen to your phone. And, and you have to be prepared for whatever happens. And, and not lose hope because everything can be fixed, you know. That's just life. What can you do? You know, you plan for things, but then things come up, and then you have to deal with it. You know, take it one step at a time, one day at a time. Um, my do my um, mother is doing a little better, and uh, hopefully, um, she'll get better soon. You know, I'm praying for that, but we'll, we'll see what happens. You know, just have to have faith. You know, keep strong. Nothing else to do but just keep the faith, you know. And uh, tomorrow's another day. Hopefully a better day. Because the day was kind of like crazy. I'm not going to say everything that happened, but it was just one of those days that... You know, when you wake up in the morning, you think it's going to go a different way. And then it just doesn't do that. But either way, you learn something from what happened it's almost like you learn a lesson which everything that happens in your life you can learn something for it from it whether it's good or bad you can learn something so i think today i learned a few things and uh, perhaps i learned to be more patient you know you have to have patience because there's nothing else nothing's gonna change you know if you become angry or impatient or just frustrated what's gonna change so we just have to keep going do the right thing and uh, enjoy the view I guess but yeah it's quite nice see all the lights are on here and uh, you'll see it's gonna be more coming up um, I know it's a little bit the video is a little long but it's worth it because you'll get to see a few things this is Chinatown right here, so it's, it's nice, it's a nice area, uh, very authentic and uh, interesting. You can find many stores with things that you don't find regularly in other, in other places. Uh, this is another area of the city, and I kind of combined some of the videos, I don't know, it's like scrambled. I might have put, you know, what's at the beginning, at the end, or something like that. I'm not quite sure, but anyway, I hope you enjoy seeing all the lights. And uh, you're going to see the trees light up, all different colors. And I hope you enjoy that. It's very cold today. 
we're gonna have a snowstorm this weekend so we'll see how that goes so uh, like i was saying you see all the lights here you're gonna see more it's beautiful around here you see that it's lovely yeah this is a park in boston so you get to see different things coming up you'll see more lights it's quite nice so like i was saying this is actually the beginning and then you go through the park and then you see all those lights so you see that and then they have uh, an ice skate rink rink in the middle of the park i think it's in the middle but it's you can, maybe you can see us over there see the white circle yeah the ice skate right there so it's really nice like I was saying, it's, it's really cold today and this weekend we're supposed to get about 2 inches of snow so we'll see about that I'm not too happy because once it's, when it snows it could be a little bit chaotic it's like you can't really do much and if you go out you have to be so careful so I hope everyone stays safe and uh, those who live in the Boston area Hope you stay safe and uh, you got a lot of work ahead of you. A lot of cleaning <laughs> your sidewalk and your driveway. So be careful. Don't, don't go overboard because you might have a heart attack or something. I mean, that usually happens when people do that. Like they go overboard with the shoveling. You have to be very careful. Anyway, guys. You can see all those those shops and uh, I mean over here they have a lot of restaurants and uh, a lot of places to shop and our buildings you know many buildings halal guys you see the halal guys halal <laughs> so they have a lot of places to live and uh, apartment buildings so it's I don't know. I, w I wish I could live around here, but it's quite expensive. I, I, I cannot afford it. It's like the rent around here, the leases, they go from like three thousand to five thousand to even ten thousand dollars a month. Imagine that, falafel king right there. So it's like it's crazy. You can't live in Boston, like the downtown Boston. You can't live. It's way too expensive. And uh, I don't know how people do it, but they must make a lot of money to live there. And uh, those like places to rent, to lease, like stores, you can, you know, have your own store and stuff. That's quite, quite a penny. Let me tell you, that's a lot. So uh, next month is my birthday. Yeah, another year. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes my uh, son makes fun of me when it's my birthday. He's like, "Ha ha, you're getting old." But you know how how they can be kids. Well, he's not a kid anymore, but still. between streets This used to be a bookstore I do that little shopping before the snow comes everybody does so let me tell you it's like I saw like one of my um, 
neighbors in the store, I was like, oh. We were like shocked to see each other, but of course it's gonna snow before we're gonna go by food, you know? Cause then you, you don't know if you can go out, you know, you can't go out the day that it's snowing cause it's dangerous. And sometimes the day after it's, it's not good, so. Sometimes people don't go out for three or four days after it snows, depending, you know. Sometimes it's like the day it snows and then maybe two more days, so you go like three days. And it feels like a week. And then for some reason you ran out of things that you really need, so. Oh, you just have to go. Let me just. Okay, this is my favorite area besides the, uh, you know, ice cream part. So I was looking for bread and I couldn't really find the one I wanted, but anyway, gotta still look around and see what they have. I was looking for those like school safe cookies because they're very delicious and uh, it has nothing like bad in it, but I couldn't find it. They don't have it quite much. They don't have like anything contaminated like... You can take it to the school and any kid can eat it because it has no nuts and certain things are just taken out for precautions, so, but I couldn't find it. So I'm just looking at these uh, cakes and all kinds of things. <laughs> oh, my son's birthday is next week, so I don't know, he usually likes me to get him something. I hope you enjoy this video, guys, and uh, have a good night and stay safe. Please wear your mask and uh, take care of yourself. Tell your loved, loved ones you're there for them. You love them. And uh, be supportive of one another. And try to stay together. So have a good night. And thanks for watching.